Okay, so that obviously went fantastically. Uh, let's let's equip a sword so I can uh, save some of my ammo. And let's save because I don't know what the hell is gonna come up. And I don't want to replay everything. And son of a bitch. <sighs> Fine. Oh, hi, Brenda. What? Why are you chasing me, Brenda? Are you okay? Look, I'm I'm not into you that way. Brenda, please! <laughs> oh no, seriously, cut it out. Alfred, do something! Stop, Brenda! Anyway, I'm off to my invisible wall to solve the issue. Or apparently not, okay. Let's go see if something else changed. Bren Brenda, Brenda, stop it. Are you enjoying this, Alfred? Okay, so what's in... Stupid scorpions. Don't mind me. I'm not here. I'm I'm a chair. A big, fat chair. With a sword. Be one with the chair. Ah, uh, what changed in here? Oh, even you, Alfred. I can't help it that I'm a big walking sex machine. Listen, Brenda, I can't make it any more obvious than that! Please! Maybe if I use the blue one? Well, I guess it is his anti one. Oh, I'm an idiot, of course! Blue kills red! Br Br Brenda, Brenda, get away! Uh, I, I have a key. I have a key. Ah! I don't like this. Better reload and make sure that everything is fine. This is my basement. I have dead corpses in my basement. Hi, guys. Never mind me. I'm just gonna be passing through, but I need my sanity back. So. Oh yeah, wasn't wasn't my uh, house built over Satanville? That that would explain the corpses in the basement. Ow. I rock at this game. <laughs> Stop bitch slapping me. This is a really awkward position to fight. Okay, chop him up. No! How fantastic. How fantastic. The other one's going to chop your head off. How about you kill it? There. Okay, just one more. And then we can go to Satanville. What? No, not a monkey. Well, that was easier than usual. Let's let's view what the monkey's actually called. Hmm. Well, ain't that interesting? Has some information and junk. They're creepy. No, not that. The zombie. These are actually really creepy descriptions and stuff. And it's this game is messed up. That is all. <laughs> New spell damage field. And is this the final rune I need to use it? Apparently not. Okay. More ghetto ammo all over the place. Okay, so... Aha! And we do have a handle. Invisible water into the bucket! Wow, that is a big bucket. How does it even 
You know what? Never mind. I'm just... It's just a sanity effect! Let, let's pretend that. Let's pretend that every bug or weird thing in this game is a sanity effect. So it's like a shield, I think. Hmm, okay. Um, let's save our game before heading down there because I have a feeling that something horrible awaits us. And I'm not playing through all that again, especially the Brenda part. I mean, goddamn. Where am I? Huh. This can't be happening. Where on earth was I? Anyway. Oh, hey. You have a glyph for me, or a rune. I want it. I want it. Yay! Yeah, yeah, whatever. Oh, that's extraordinary. This is extraordinary. It almost ate my head. Yes, yes, quite. Thank you. Now, where on earth are we? Or is this a gateway to another dimension? So we're not technically on earth anymore. I don't know. Whoa, dude. It's a picture. That's supposed to be like a necropolis. Max is incredulous at the sight. A desolate ruin of a fantastic city built into a huge naturally formed cave. Jutting spires and looming buildings poke through the dense fog light ebbs through the city crackling in the wake of an energy splitting from a light source held aloft. Well, that is pretty cool. I wonder if they make a remake of this game, this generation or the next generation, how good it would look and if they could do the sanity effects as they wanted them. But there are rumors that there's an Eternal Darkness 2 coming out for the Wii U. So that's always cool. What the hell are you? Those are a lot of runes, bro. Spider-Man, Spider-Man. I love the look on his face, it's like, what the fuck? Uh, will the shield protect me? Because I assume he's going to cast some magic at me. Let, let's equip our pistols and shoot at it, because I'm, there's no way I'm going to get close to that thing. Aha! Our shield is successful! <gasps> I'm not afraid of you, spider douche. What's it doing? To the shield! Oh, this is, this is gonna suck. Is this a boss fight? It might be. But one thing's for sh Oh, it's spawning dudes at me now. Well, that's just fantastic. Good thing I have a shield over here. Can just reload and shoot, bitches. No, no. Haha! <laughs> oh, this is so awkward. I can't see it that I'm afraid to move. Let's equip our sword and kill this bitch. Not the big bitch, the big spider one, but the s smaller dude that we need to get rid of. This is gonna hurt, this is gonna hurt, this is gonna hurt! Mm. Ah, whoa! That is like a four kill, a, a four hit KO! Spider, why you no die? Why bullets no affect you? Why you hate me so much? I'm just hate you. Die, die. What? It seems to take damage while it's casting. What? Oh, well that was easy. He said after ten hours.
Fascinating! Fantastic! Extraordinary! Just kill it. The cursed beast was dead, but not without its toll on me. That was but one, and there was an entire sea of them. I could not hope to fight them all, though. Well, it is Satanville. I knew I had to get help. I knew there was a way. I just had to find it. Three months later, does it come back with an army? This doesn't look good. Is he dead? No. Guy? I guess he really did go insane from that spider thing. Even though some of his, what he's saying doesn't have truth to it, but can you imagine telling that to anyone sane? Oh! Come with me to my house, I have Satan spiders living underneath. And, and... Satanville is underneath my basement! It's true! Also, Brenda has a thing for me. What? What, what the f- Oh my god, that confused the fuck out of me! I thought I had- I could have sworn that I had bought the game! I would have been really pissed if this was a demo or uh, somehow like an E3 or a long demo and the guy like ripped me off. I would have been really pissed. Uh, okay, that has got to be the best sanity effect yet. It really, really has to. That actually got me for for, for a bit. At first I thought it was going to be like, insert CD number 2, but then I remembered there is no CD number 2. <sighs> well, anyway, we can now open those invisible barriers, and there's an invisible barrier on a fireplace we saw earlier, so let's head there. Okay... Not here, we checked here. Oh, it was on a dresser, not on a... Well, that was embarrassing. Aha! Now I can use my dresser key that I got five seconds into the game. What is inside? <gasps> a pistol, a chrome finished revolver, and a tattered page from the Tome of Darkness. Give me that pistol! Alex can now cap a bitch's ass. What's Sauron got to say? Our guardians have located the Hearthmaster. Before the month is out, it shall be ours. Do not underestimate the power of Mandarok. Your luck. Its power cannot be defined in terms you understand. For seven centuries, its cause has corroded your universe. And during those seven Denizens of the region have been either destroyed or driven away. There is nothing, no one to stop us from collecting it. Mantarok and its essence lie unprotected in the jungle. Then waste no more time. Retrieve it immediately. And pray to me that you do. Time is running short. Without me, you are mere flesh. And feathers. He has feathers on his hat, don't remember. Eh, forget. Shut up. 
Well, that was rather interesting. This whole chapter was pretty g great, I think. I really enjoyed Maximilian's story the most so far. So, forgive me if this session is a bit shorter than usual, but I have a lot of crap to do and I have to go. So, until next time, guys, take care. Bye-bye.